ask. <laughs> yeah. Damn straight. Damn straight. How do you feel? Is that true? Sorry, I didn't hear you. Okay. Right here. Okay. What's oh, going it's... on? They're shooting anyone that climbs the gates. Of course they are. People are dying. They can't just stand by. Right. I agree. The truck is gassed up with some reserves in the rear. This isn't your fight. These aren't your people. Yes, they are. And so are you. Aww. Ezekiel, you my man. You may not think this place is worth saving, and I'm not going to allow them to fall without a fight. Not today. I'm with you. The king is back. Who else? Yes. I'm with you. I got you. I'm in. Me too. Let's finish that. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm with you. Lead the way, brother. Let's fuck this shit up. Let's fuck this shit up. I can live with this all. It ain't gonna be that easy. Oh shit. Arrest him. Ma'am. Uh, Ma'am? Take the shot, Carol. No, you are governor. You disappeared hundreds of citizens. You shot a child. You're just an no, all-around bad person. Out there to die. General, stop! We're opening the gate and letting these people in. I'll kill anyone who tries to stop. Stop, oh. or we will be forced to shoot you. We'll fire back. Shoot them! Stop! What the hell are you doing? We all deserve better than this. We built this place to be like the old world. That was a fucking problem. Mm -hmm. If I open the gates, the dead will get in. Not just the living. If you don't, you're gonna lose everything anyway. Got one enemy. We the walking dead. That was Gabe's full circle. That was his full circle. Yep. That was it right there. Church moment. Him opening the doors. Yep. On your command, General Mercer. Oh! General Milton, you're under arrest for high crimes against the people of this commonwealth. Cut. Hannibal's getting arrested. Oh, is this gonna be full circle for Maggie? Worse than death. What's worse than death? Jerry! 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 Is Elijah Will Yes, there? yes. I saw Jerry and Elijah right there. Right there. Oh, that's Lance. <laughs> that's fucking Lance. She'd rather die. Are you gonna let Lance take you out? Don't let her go out that easy. It's not too late. It's never too late. Yeah, don't let her go out that easy. Full circle for Maggie. Right there. Remember how bad she wanted Negan dead? No, I know. I know. Full circle for Maggie. Oh, out the back gate. We're on our way to the town. Let us know when we're clear. We got ready to signal that that's here. Go! So much going on. There's a lot happening. Sure. Report back when you're at the In the meantime, we'll start the PA system to draw all the rotters to the estate. They're about to blow the estate. They're about to blow that shit. What? They're leaving them all there and then they're about to blow that shit. Walkers are turning ahead for the estate. It's almost no time. Let's get that fuel down to the sewer. We're only gonna have one shot at this. I don't normally have music in this show like this. The only thing we have to fear 
is fear itself. Oh. Oh. Rick moment. Wow. All right. Damn. Yeah. All right. They're all falling into the sewers. I mean, that place is gone. It needed to go. I would imagine that that explosion was very loud, though. Mm-hmm. Might be something to consider. Immediate threat's gone. Immediate threat is gone, yes. That's not easy, having so many lives. There are okay, decisions we'll have to make. We're hungry. How do you pick who does the job no one wants? Who gets the answer first? They've already had to make an ugly decision. <laughs> Kept you alive. That's true. That is true. Everything we've done, because we've all done things. We'll figure it out. At least we don't have to worry about who gets your house. Cause you ain't got one no more, bitch. It's gone. This is your house. <laughs> Welcome home, uh, Pamela. Welcome oh, home. Look at this. Reliving those glory days there. <laughs> No, he's like, I'm done with all this shit, man. I've been thinking about what you said. I want to thank you. Stop wondering if you'll ever say those words. And I can never forgive you. Because I know now. I can't. Glenn was beautiful. Never love anyone like that again. I remember the smile. Don't talk about Glenn, please. No way, man. But when I call all I see is that bat come down on his head. Blood running down his face. I hear, I hear him calling for me. And I hear you mocking me while he's dying. I can't forgive you. Even though I'm so grateful that you saved my son. I'm trying to. Because I don't want to hate you anymore. I don't want to hurt like that. And I don't want my son to see that anybody has that kind of hold over me. You and Amy want to stay? You have earned your place. That's all I have are my memories. And I don't want to remember Glenn like that. That was an amazing moment. No words necessary. Man, screw this. What are you doing? I need to hold on to something. I'm Tearing up. <laughs> Shit. Can I just say? Yes, Queen. Oh. It's about dang time. <laughs> no. mm -mm. Now we got to go to another sad moment. I think Judith is realizing that maybe Rosita was bit. This is messed up. Receive her into your arms of mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. In the mercy of God. Rest in peace. Amen. We'll see you again someday. Of course. Rosita, I wouldn't be the man I am today if I hadn't met you. Oh, God, it was him. That's the best way to remember her. Yeah. What? A year later? Stop, stop, stop. Rest in peace, huh? 
All right. Okay. A year later, let's see what they've done. What are you trying to say, Rosie? <laughs> oh, he, they had a baby and they named her Rosie. Oh, yeah. after Rosita. If we make it, we will more perfect you. You know, we are not bonded by blood in our family. As your governor, I am your lieutenant governor, Michael Mercer. King Zeke is back at it. Please tell me they're together. Please. I don't think he's ever meant to have that someone. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. mm. Hey, who's it from? It's supposed to be a surprise. Stop. From. See you later. What? Judith, this has always helped me find my way. I'm returning it to you now in the hope that it can guide you to Negan. your dreams. Where's Negan off to? Oh, Carol got a haircut again. Yes, queen. She got a new man. <laughs> the last week. Hopefully she's back with King Z. Yeah, Come on, give me my moment. Which one? Huh? I want to talk about the future. There's a lot out there to find out about. And I think it's time we did. It's a beautiful baby for now. I wish you were coming with me. This is gonna be good. You for me. Right. Daryl's gonna go look for Daryl Rick, I'd imagine. It's not like we're never gonna see each other again. I'm allowed to be with you, so. Yep, cause see Judith told him about Michonne and Rick, so no. now he's He's got to go find them, right? I'll keep an eye on Ralph. I'll tell too, man. I'm out there. If I hear anything, see anything, I'll find them both. I'll bring them home. All right? No? Yeah. You deserve a happy ending, too. I'll be back. I don't know. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Another couple years, Daryl doesn't come back. They send another one to go look in. Another couple years go by, they don't come back. Like, I think of the dead all the time. And about the living, who I lost. I tried to get to you and your brother again and again. It's too far for the radio now. I know that. We're still connected. I think about them all. Every to day. everybody we ever loved. Their faces. How they made me who I am. We're love. And love is endless. So we, those gone. All of our lives. Those away. Becoming one life. One unstoppable life. You showed me that. You gave me that. Well, what the shit. Is this current? This better be current. This is like a new outfit I'm seeing, which she's totally rocking, by the way. I know you're back there. I know your brother is back there. Just as sure as I know he's out there. Somewhere. Not just as a part of us. He's alive out there. I will find him. Because I know he's trying to find us. <laughs> Keep expecting it to end and it just keeps going. <laughs> it's 
Sort of. You're the ones who win. With everything we've beat, everything we've endured, no matter what comes next, that's that it. bigger world is ours. Yeah, that's over. This journey must be completed. Um, you should keep watching that. Oh, what? we should? Okay. Yes. Well, let's keep watching that then. Everyone, get ready! Of course. The only way this works is if we trust each other. There's a storm coming. It's been a while since we had one of these talks. We are going to remake the world. What the shit? Okay, so there's three new... Dead City. Dead City, Daryl Dixon, and Rick and Michelle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. I want to first munch this episode down a little bit. <laughs> um, Emotional. The whole way through. I barely talked throughout this entire episode. Um, very emotional. Yes. I am happy that they gave us a glimpse of Rick and Michonne. Um, although I feel like that was kind of like only to build hype for the new show coming out and not necessarily for the end of this show, you know, like I'm glad that they put in there that Rick has been trying to get back to his family, that he's been trying to run away and he, he keeps getting caught and returned so he has been trying to get back to his family this this whole entire time apparently but he doesn't know where they're at and he apparently can't really get very far because they keep finding him um i don't even know what to fathom of that i was expecting you know to see rick a little bit more i mean yeah i'm glad we got to see him and hear him and in the whole nine yards but i guess you know i'm okay with it I did like that. Let, I, let me give a, what I really enjoyed. I enjoyed the moments with Eugene Rosita, mm -hmm. big time. Um, when he sat there at the end and when she was telling him, you know, having that talk when she he first learned that she got bit, that was an amazing moment. Father Gabe, um, this episode really showed me a lot about him. Yeah. And it kind of went full circle for him. And then, you know, he ends up losing someone he really loves but he handles it so like he handled it he's the grown, rosy that rosy away he's grown a lot he's grown a lot i mean everybody in this show has grown a lot i can say that before going into this episode i wasn't really interested in any of the spinoffs but i am kind of a little bit interested now M mostly in the rick and michonne one I'm interested in that one. I'm not quite sure yet about the Daryl Dixon one. What is going to be happening in that one? I don't know. Is he? Is it going to be just his journey and trying to find Rick? The Negan and Maggie one, um, again, I'm not sure what they're going to do with that, where they're going with that one. But the Rick and Michonne one, I, I'm a little bit interested in that one. I'm a little bit interested in that one. Um, I do want to see some more about it first. Um, uh, this. Well, I did see, you know, in that after part. Yeah. You know, people from uh, Fear as well. I saw. Well, they're continuing on with Fear still. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I. I mean, I definitely got. I, I definitely got everything I wanted, I guess, out of this episode. Um, but I still, I do feel a little bit, like, let down. Just a little bit. I got everything I wanted. Well, they, they never really closed anything out. And, that, and maybe that's what I'm maybe frustrated with. Maybe that's where my, you know, I'm not frustrated. That's the wrong choice of word. I, I loved the episode. But I feel like something's missing. Maybe that's the only way I can describe it. Something's missing for me. I loved the episode, but I didn't get like 100% of, of closure that I was wanting from this episode, from this series and this group of people, I guess. 
not uh, not in the way that I wanted, I guess. I don't know. But I, I th still think it was a good ending. I, I really I loved thought it. it. I, I thought it was a very, you know, I mean, I had to stop a few times because it did choke me up. It yeah. did exactly what I thought. It would know. do. Right. And it was, it was, I thought it was well acted by the actors. I thought yeah. the conversations between Maggie and Negan and, you know, uh, Carol and Daryl. And I mean, you know, with everything else going on, we had these real lasting impressionable um, conversations between a lot of our favorite um, connected characters. And I definitely enjoyed those moments. All of them conversations, all of those heartfelt moments definitely so, needed. So, yeah. So I guess with that being said, I had expectations that were different than what the writers had, and I'm okay with this. their conclusion of, of The Walking Dead because they're going to handle, you know, uh, more story through uh, other avenues. We did, They, they kind of preluded us to another area. They closed out this segment of The Walking Dead, and now we're moving to the new chapter of the, you know, of the world. And I know, I... I... And I, I, I'm trying to put it together in a good way. I, I know, and yes. Did, did I expect more of a definitive answer on a lot of things? Absolutely, but is my expectations so much that do I really need that information or should I just, you know, enjoy the moment um, in the show? And I think that's what I'm coming back to. I, I think I really enjoyed that. Um, it hit me in the feels. I thought it was really good. Um, I, I was a little frustrated with the fact that they brought Luke and his girlfriend back literally just to kill them off, like in the very next episode. Um, that was, a, I mean, not the very next episode, but basically, um, cause it kind of felt like they were kind of just expendable at that point and, oh, let's just. They're easy kills, I guess. So I, I, I was kind of frustrated that they chose to kill off them too. They had anybody else they could have chosen to kill off right there, and they chose Luke and his girlfriend, who we've barely seen at all this season. Where there's almost, I mean, Luke. Yes, there was a little bit of that emotional impact because we do care about Luke, but because he's been gone for so long, it wasn't as. Like, the reason I got emotional because Luke passed away was because of the way his friends were taking it. I was mostly feeling their pain in that moment. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, they spent more time with him. Exactly. Now, Rosita, I just couldn't <coughs> even, like, obviously when that happened, I couldn't even talk. Like, I was just, I, I couldn't speak the whole time. I'll probably never forget that. Yeah, it, it was, it's very heartbreaking. I can picture her face. And how she was looking at, you know, Coco. And I mean, you can just picture it. And that's burned into my brain. Yeah. Um, they did a great job, I, I, I thought, with the episode. Yeah. I mean, we had moments. We had, like I said, the, the connections and a lot of, you know, they, they, I think they polished it up right and sent it off on, on its other courses. And I'm, I'm good with that. I feel I feel okay with it. I, I feel, I, I'm not I, trying I, to talk myself into it. I'm just saying I'm okay with how they did this. I'm not going to complain at all. It was it no, was I'm enjoyable. No, I'm not complaining. I I definitely feel like I got what I needed. I feel like it's a solid ending. I don't feel blown away, and that's just me being honest. I'm not blown away, but I wasn't really expecting to be blown away. I just wanted you know, everything to kind of come together. I love how a lot of the character arcs came full circle and they showed us that very, like, in your face. You know, I, I really appreciated that. Um, like with Gabe and with Maggie, how they're, especially in this episode, it was very clear that that was their characters coming full circle right there. Um, but I like that they were real realistic with Maggie and that in saying that I can't just forgive you, you know, that was like, a beautiful written. I can't yeah. just forgive you. Like this is, I literally see my husband dying every time I look at you and I can feel that, you know, so I, I appreciated that. Um, 
but I appreciated that she said that she's trying because she has been, she has been trying and he's been trying. Um, so I appreciate that. And I appreciate everything. I appreciate all the little flashbacks, all the mirroring that they that they've been doing with like Daryl and Judith and, you know, kind of comparing that to Rick's old situation and, you know, him and Carl. And it, it's funny that you mentioned when Judith was being carried by Daryl and she looked up at him and said, Dad, I don't know if she was seeing her dad in that moment. I think that that was more of like a, a moment with her and Daryl. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't I know. I don't know. But she was close to death, so she could have been seeing her dad in that moment. But it kind of felt like it felt like a moment with her and Daryl for some reason. Well, it definitely no, I'm not going to take away from that. It, it definitely was. Um, you know, the, the the good written stories will take you in into the moment. Yeah. Even when it's it, you know it can be heart heart pounding, and then they take you to a special moment. That to me is brilliance. You know, um, when a person has to step away. Because you've invested in that character and they knew how to, you know, really hit you in the feels. Yeah. That tells me it's it's just a a great moment. And I need to start embracing that, you know. Um, yeah, okay. So it isn't the way I exactly pictured it. And not, but was it, it ever going to be the way exactly. I pictured it? And that's the point here to take away from this is that not everybody is going to be 100% happy with every choice that every show makes right i'm not going to be entirely happy with everything you made Mm -hmm. but the point is is it was a it was a solid show i had my issues with it but overall the entire show the entire ending the entire finale gave me everything i wanted in some way shape or form i feel it gave you it gave us the roller coaster of emotions like you yeah. always expect, you know, and it did give me bits and pieces of Rick and Michonne like I wanted and asked for. Yeah, yeah. I So I'm I'm happy. Like, yeah, I'm not blown away, but I'm happy with it. And I think they that just it was did, solid. Well, what they did was they just didn't say, you know what, screw you. You know, you'll see in the next they gave you a little bit. Could, yeah. Did we want more? I think uh, that's I think that's our greedy side that we haven't seen Rick since that that episode on the bridge, and we we haven't known anything about yeah. him. Like, so what's it's he doing? that what? we're wanting more of that, and that and and that's where my thing is is like, well, were they showing us Rick just to kind of push these spinoff series? To get us to watch well, those. Yeah, yeah. Well, of course they are. Obviously they are. But I don't know. Like I, but the, I the weird thing is, is this is a show that has for some people have been watching it since day one and has stayed in the timelines, even through the, the you know, pandemic year, you know, and, and, and stuff like that. You know, people stayed with the show all the way through. Mm-hmm. Some people were young teenagers that are having kids and beyond, you know, and beyond now that have watched this. The show's um, been out for what, 12 years or something. So yeah, it's a this, long time. This is going to last for some people, the majority of their, you know, like I, I get it. It's, I want to see it, but God, it, you know, I, I, I don't know if I have 12 years to, you know, like, you know what I mean? To obviously I will. A but, lot of you have invested a lot of time in this show and we haven't invested as much, obviously, but but, we but a decent there. amount of time. Obviously, not 12 years like you guys, but a couple years that we've been watching this show. And it's meant a lot to us. I mean, we've been doing it for a while. We've really enjoyed it. I, you know, Steve was scared to even start watching this show because he didn't think he'd like it. We talked about that in the very pilot, you know, the pilot episode when we watched it. That Steve was worried he wasn't even going to like it and immediately loved it, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing. Like, we've all been on this roller coaster of a ride with The Walking Dead different times, but all we're all on it. We've all been on it. And look at the some of the episodes we've seen over the years. I mean, to walk away from it would have been a sin. 
Um, I wasn't going to ever. Mm -hmm. um, but seeing it through and seeing the last episode is like a milestone, you know? Yeah. And I don't say, I, I say that because I look back at the entire time we've done this show and reacted to it and done the episodes all the way through for years. And I, I think almost two and a half, three years, right? That we've been doing this? Well, the channel itself, th over three years, but this show, about two years, somewhere in there. You you guys can correct me in the comments. I am horrible anyway, with my memory. I don't need to sit here. I, yeah. It's been a long time. That's it's been a I'm while. It's say. been it, We've been watching the show for a while. And when you're, fil on, when you're yeah. filming it and catching up and the whole nine yards and then you're caught up and then you're almost to the end. You know, I was excited about everything about this show. I will say as far as show endings, I've seen better. I've seen some better show endings, no doubt about it. But for a series to kind of hit you the way this one did, um, kudos to The Walking Dead. I The Walking Dead has always had this amazing ability to kind of put you in their universe, make you feel like you're a part of the group, of the team, you know, make you feel like you're right there, feeling everything they're feeling, going through what they're going through. So yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, but I have definitely appreciated this journey from start to finish, um, Probably not going to be finished yet because we'll probably end up watching more of the spinoffs. Well, Let's you know, be fair. I, I, I'll be, be really fair. honest with you. I'll let, <laughs> I'll let that up to the fans at well, that point. Well, we'll um, see. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll do things. We have a lot of stuff we want to get to. And, you know, if people want us to start down them avenues, then we'll, 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 see. Cross, yeah. we'll cross that Rick Bridge when we get to it. Who? Yeah, hopefully that bridge won't explode. Do I want to see more? Yeah, I. I but I want to know more. I, I want to have more information before I dive into the spinoffs. I, I'm happy with, with where I'm at right now. Yeah. With The Walking Dead. And yeah, I'm, I'm sure I'll be curious to see what happens to Rick. I, obviously, he was my favorite character. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. By far. By far. Yeah. And, you know, of course, Daryl, I, I, I love him to death. Um, but I haven't seen Rick in a long time, so we'll, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. <laughs> but anyway, I loved it. Um, good episode. It was very emotional. It was, it 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 made my heart race at times. Um, definitely, too. definitely, I teared up. Yeah, me too. And you did. It, it was great. I, I feel like I'm repeating myself, so I want to get off here. I want to know what your guys' yeah. thoughts and opinions are on this final episode. Did this episode bring everything together for you? Did you feel let down? Was it perfection? What is your opinion? What do you think? I want to know what your guys' are because we're literally just fresh off of watching this. These are our fresh opinions. Mm -hmm. You know, we haven't had any time to absorb anything really or take anything and in. And a lot of things going to change too as we And I'm we sure our opinions might change too as we sit down and kind of process everything. What was your, I, I do have a question before. I know you're heading towards the outro here. Mm -hmm. What was your favorite moment in this episode as far as uh, dialect? I, I have to ask that. Dialogue? Between? Oh. Between company. You know, between, you know, I don't want to give it out because I don't want to lead you. I, oh, uh, there's probably more. My the my top one that's kind of reaching my brain first thing is the Maggie and Negan mm -hmm. moment. Mm -hmm. I, um, that one definitely was powerful to me. But there's other ones too that I just that are right there at the tip of my brain that I'm just. My, I've got so much going through my head right now, you guys. It's literally spinning, so I'm trying to grab onto those, and it's it's I'm struggling with grabbing onto those. But yeah, there's several. I, but I, that I, one, I that one I can say for sure. It's hard to put in order which which one was my favorite. I really enjoyed the the Daryl and Carol moment when they said that I love you. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've really heard that in that way, like. Like, no, like, no I don't I mean? think they've ever actually, I don't think we've ever actually heard them say the words, I, I love have. you, like that. Yeah. 
I'm and sure we've moment, heard their moment moments when like... they were sitting on the bench there, and you know, that really meant a lot um, to see them moments. So, yeah, um, I was really good with that. The Nigi, the Nigi, Maggie, the Nigi, the Nigi, <laughs> the Nigi situation. Yeah, that. Um, what a good conversation! Amazing how they acted it out. Yeah. They took their acting to another level right there. Yeah. Take us it, out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, let let us know down below what your guys' thoughts and opinions are on this ending. Did it meet your expectations? Did it not? Explain why. I want to know. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode, this series, The Walking Dead, with us from start to finish. Uh, and every one of you that's been along the whole journey. Yeah, thank we, you so much for that. We appreciate every single one of you. It goes back to the days we, we built our own teams uh, mm -hmm. with The Walking Dead. We had so much fun with with The Walking Dead. Like I said, built our own uh, uh, didn't apocalyptic we, team. Yeah, didn't we say we were going to do that too again for the ending? We, we might still do that. that. We might I, still do I, I that. I never said that. That was a lot of work. But anyway. Um, anyway, yeah. That thanks. was a lot of fun, by the way. And... Um, I don't know, just everything about it along the way. The trip that we took and got to see everything, like I said in the beginning, it was great. Um, it's a lot of good memories with this show, and I want to leave that with a smile. Yeah. So thank you, Thank you, everybody. guys. We appreciate you guys so much. Please leave a like on this video. Leave your comments and questions down below. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already. Share the video and squish that bell. And we hope you guys all have an amazing and awesome day. Hope amazing happens to you. Until the next show, peace out.